I did not have enough money to go to college. No, there was no resources for me. And once I graduated high school, I got sick and I didn't have money to pay my bills. I applied for scholarships and I barely got any of it. And it was not affordable for me. My name is Abner Santana. I'm a surgical technologist and I work at Putterville Hospital. I was a high school dropout. I was a mom at the age of 18. After my husband and I divorced, I became a single mother and I worked odd jobs, but I always in the back of my mind, I always wanted to go back to school. My name is Ophelia Gonzalez. I am a certified medical assistant and I work for Banner Health. Going to college was not an option at that time. That wasn't something that I thought that I can accomplish, but I was always like a go-getter. So I just like pushed myself to do whatever I could. I was in my 30s. I decided I wanted to make something of myself. So first I went and got my GED. After I had my GED, I enrolled at Front Range Community College and I started taking classes to get my prerequisites done for nursing. It was amazing just getting into Front Range and exploring all the things that I wanted to do. So I started getting my prerequisites for either nursing or surgical technologist. As I was going to school at Front Range Community College, I knew that there was a job for me. My instructor, she did her best to put me in the right place. They found a hospital for me to do my apprenticeship at. When you're doing an apprenticeship, you're getting that training that you get at a normal job, same as, as clinicals, but you're getting paid. Sometimes uh, like I'll go in an operating room and I'm nervous about like doing something and then I realize I know how to do this. I learned it in school. We were doing a hysterectomy and the doctor walked in to drape the patient and I knew how to drape the patient so I had already draped the patient before and my preceptor didn't have to teach me because I already knew that <laughs> from school. With the apprenticeship, I worked 32 hours a week and I got paid eight hours for going to school. Being in surgical tech, uh, you have to anticipate uh, what the surgeon needs. Uh, be two steps ahead. There's a life that is at stake. If something goes wrong, we have to know how to react and be conscious that there's a patient there. We have to have everything ready. So I was in the apprenticeship program and I was making good money. I finished the apprenticeship program, took my national test, and then got a raise and now I'm making even better money. Not only did I have a job lined up that was going to pay me well, but I have, I still have the opportunity to keep growing. Currently hospitals are looking for more apprenticeships and they're almost battling each other to take apprenticeships from uh, community colleges. I'm in a good spot. Um, they told me that we were like gold to them. <laughs> If apprenticeships didn't exist, I'd probably still be looking for a job. When I graduated from Front Range Community College, I was practically debt free. And I had a job. And that was, that was awesome. The skills that I learned at Front Range were very valuable to me. Uh, they have helped me succeed in my career. Because of the apprenticeship, the hands-on training that I received through Banner Health and Front Range, I feel like I've become an expert in my field.